Hello, my name is Daniel. We are here in Croyland Gardens, Wellingborough. It's Friday afternoon, it's the 12th of July 2019. I'm here with Robert Bates. Uh, Robert's asked me to film him because he wants to talk about the homeless situation in Wellingborough. Um, say hello, Robert. Hello. <laughs> right, before we do that though, let's just get a bit of introduction. Let's, let's find out who Robert is and, and just get to know the guy. So, Robert, tell us about your background. I was born in Wellingborough yeah. at Icebrook Hospital. I went to a special school, Eastfield Park, when I was seven till I left. When I was 16. Right. And I have a, did have a long term girlfriend for right. 10 years. Tell us a bit about her. She was 17 years older than me. Really? Yeah. Older woman type thing? Oh. She teach you a few things? No, I taught her. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, okay, and she was from Northampton, I hear? Yeah. Okay, and uh, that lasted what, for about 10 years? 10 years. Right, okay, and what else about yourself? So, working, you done gardening? I done, did Moulton College for my gardening. Right. But didn't get any qualification. Okay, uh, but you've, you've done the gardening and you know yeah. your stuff? Yeah, That's a hard, gritty stuff, and that's also um, potting plants and this, yeah. that and the other? And how do you feel? Yeah, did you enjoy all of that? Yeah. What did you enjoy? Being outdoors. Being outdoors? Yeah. So you do like the outdoors yeah. anyway? Yeah. So you wouldn't want to work in an office? No. Well, what if they put a shirt, shirt and tie on you? I won't go. <laughs> Definitely won't go? No. But give me, give, me, give me some overalls and some wellies and, and I'm fine? Yeah. Don't have to be gardening. I'm happy to. I love it outside work. I'm happy to turn around. Right, okay, so, okay, so, and if you don't mind me asking. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, see you later. Sorry. If you don't mind me asking, um, how, uh, how old are you? No, no, no. 45. So you've oh, been, oh, have you been in this sort of like homeless situation, however you describe it, that all of that time? No. So, what else have you done in the past? Where have you lived and, you know, lived, around what? Lived with my girlfriend. Yeah, she was over in Northampton? Yeah. Um, when we split up, I end up coming back to live with my mum and my sister. Right, okay. So, as, oh, so hang on a second. So, you're from Wellingborough as well? Yeah. Your family's from Wellingborough? Yeah. And how many sisters, brothers and sisters? I, I had one. Okay. But she passed away. She's passed away. And my mum had. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, Right, let's go into some tough questions now, and, and we've, we've, we've been through these earlier on, and, and just to find out, but, um, Robert, so, tough question, I know, but it is a question that everyone's going to want to know, is, how did you end up homeless? Because of my alcohol problem, causing problem where I live, yeah. and went to bed. Okay, but they're easy answers, if you don't, you know, they're easy to say, you know, I had an alcohol problem, I had but how did you, how did you fall into that, that, that kind of cycle? So, when you first had a drink, for instance, did you like, I really like this, and then that was a trouble there and then, or was it gradual? And it then, was gradual. And it took over? Yeah. Like what? I wasn't paying more when. Okay. And just, just drunk a lot of the time? Yeah. Um, and... I'm causing my neighbours problems. How? Like shouting at them. Shouting at them, they yeah. didn't like that? No. Did they call the police on you or anything like that? No. But where were you? Used to live, it had carers. Right, oh, okay. Around, so they dealt with it. And they dealt with it, and yeah. like, in like out you go time for Yeah. And, and be honest, were you looking back, do you think you were a bit horrible at the time? Um, sometime I was. Yeah. But when I had had goes to people because they were picking on my friends who were vulnerable. Yeah. So, so you're sick enough for your friends? Up, yeah. Okay, so sometimes you were in the right, sometimes you yeah. were in the wrong. And, yeah. it's, and, and, and uh, can you shout loud? I don't want you to right now, but can you shout loud? Yeah. When I have to. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you have to. Yeah. Right, okay, so, um, I've seen you around in Wellingborough, I know people that I've spoken to, everyone seems to know you and stuff like that, so, um, where do you live right now? Outside Morrison. Outside, what, underneath the arches in Morrison's? Yeah. Under, outside Morrison's. Yeah. How long have you been there? Only a week. Only a week? Yeah. And where were you before? In, in the town centre. By Union and then at night the shopping centre. And how long were you there? Itch. 
on and off for since I've become homeless. Which is how long? Well, coming off for three years. Wow. Year. So I, I know these are obvious questions, but just because everyone want, everyone would like to know the obvious stuff. I, I, I know this is an obvious question, but that's winter and summer and yeah. spring and fall and yeah. all, all the seasons you're outside. Yeah. Right. Summer, we're in July right now. Pleasant weather. It, you know, if you're going to be homeless, that would seem an okay time to be there. But what's it like in the winter? Cold. Yeah. But I also know when they're getting to late October, I will go and buy more bedding. So I'll keep myself warm. Right, but what about the really harsh, you know, January month? And the, you know, you get horrible, you get real sharp moments in December and January, and maybe February as well. I mean, how does that get you? You don't. Why just, not? It's just another month. It's just another month. Yeah. I mean, people. I mean, if people are going to be at home. They're going to be thinking, God, no way, because I, like, I get into my place and it's you know deep dark. Midwinter and wham, on goes the central heating, and we, you know, oh, cool, thank you very much. But for you, it's just, yeah. Nah. How come? I don't want to think about it. But if I think about it, I'll probably get depressed. That's a good answer. Fair enough. Okay, so, and here's another question as well. With regard, right now you're you're in Morrison's. I mean, I've, I've gone past you. You, it's a quite a big spot, but you're the only person there. Um, how do you stake your spot? Why don't people fight you for a spot? A lot of people don't like being in the town centre. Right, okay, so where are other people? In tents. Where? Just, I'm not sure, I just know some of my friends got tents. But they're in like, you know, meadows and woods and things like that? Yeah, local to town, but just enough out of town so they don't get hassled. Right, uh, your spot you're in now in Morrison's, I mean, do you like it? Do you think it's a good spot? Yeah. So why wouldn't somebody else, why wouldn't somebody fight you for it? I'm not sure why no one would. No, I, I, that's fair. I'm, I'm yeah. pleased for you, but nevertheless. Yeah, I don't know why no one would fight you and, for And, the, spot. you know, say when you were underneath Union or something like that, did, did anybody ever fight you for that spot? No. And then next to the Nationwide, the Anglia, that and me out there, but other people there. And people just, a lot of people just don't want the aggro being in town. Right, okay, and within reason, everyone kind of gets along. I know, I know, but I mean, I heard you, okay, let's rephrase that. Yeah. I heard you had a, a bit of a, you, if you want to talk about it, and, and we didn't discuss this one earlier, so if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine, but you, somebody picked on you a few weeks ago. Do you want to talk about that? Last week. What happened there? Someone called me a nasty name yep. and so, to his friends, so they'll come and gave me a kick in. And when, when you say a kick in, what do you mean by a kick, kick in? in the face. You got, a, you got a boot in your face? Yeah, and then when I got up, someone else took my friend crutch and hit me across, straight across the back and left a bruise. How many of them were there? Two of them. Two of them? Yeah, but the one who set it all up stood up and watched them do it. He was right next to so me. So there was three people, yeah. but two did the violence yeah. and one was watching. And yeah, and one nicked my phone. And what the time of the day was that? Ish. Early morning. What, what, six o'clock early? No, it was about one, two. Oh, like, re yeah. like mid past midnight yeah. type early? Yeah. So dark, it's still yeah. dark. And you, right, okay. How did you feel about that? Well, Angry. Oh, yeah, obviously, I mean, fair enough, I'm asking a silly question there, but, um, but go on, what do you mean, angry? But a bit more, please. I'm fed up of it. Since I come out of prison, all I've been since January attack. Someone nearly killed me. Wow. Okay. If it wasn't for someone who was there grabbing him, he would have strangled me. And he was going for yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, tell us a bit more about the people around you, you know, there's some good people, some bad people, without naming names, fair enough, but you know, tell us about a couple of things about a couple of really nice people in your little uh, group and then a couple of really horrible people, what are they like? Um, I get on with a few of the homeless yeah. who actually been put in the hotel, I'll get on with them Yeah. and we can have a group together and no, no one gets silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what about the horrible ones? They're just 
druggies, so they was think it okay to keep robbing me to sell my phones for their addiction. Right. How ooh, how often do you get through phones? I mean, you have to, like... Two months, I have about six phones. In the really? Yeah. And they just ordinary little phones and just get No, they, they are... They are a bit expensive ones, but even though cheap ones, they nick off me because I get so many minutes, minutes so they're nicking it to phone their drug dealers and then get rid of it. Wow, that's harsh. That is... Okay, um, another question I didn't ask because I, did, I wasn't aware of it, and, and this is on camera, so if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. But you say you went to prison. Do you want to talk about that at all? Just about breaking my court order, saying I can't drink anywhere in the sanctuary chair for three years. What does that mean, you can't drink? On the street. Yeah, but isn't that a law for everyone anyway? In, in theory? No, but because I did cause problem. I made it a condition. So you were so drunk, you were drinking on the street, you got nicked for that, how yeah. long did you go away for? The first time I've been through time. First time two weeks. The second time I missed my court appointment. I got drunk and I forgot about it. Right, so yeah, okay. And that was three months. And three months they put you away for yeah, that? Because you months. didn't turn up the court? Yeah, but I had three months this come out in January. And, and what was that for? Drinking as well? Yeah. So, okay. So when you get drunk and you're loud, you can be... Can you be pretty obnoxious? Yeah. Okay, well, at least you're honest there. That's fair enough. Um, okay, so that's, 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 that's fine on that. Now, there's a lot of people I've noticed, and, and people have saying, you know, there's a lot more homeless than there used to be, or seems to be a lot more homeless as well. Um, where are these people from? Um, m most of them from Northampton. So, so Northampton, Kettering? Yeah. Um, Corby. Are they only coming to... Are, are we kind of sending some of our homeless people to, to Corby, or is everyone somehow coming to Wellingborough now? Because I know Northampton now ain't got the room for their homeless, so if they put in one people in hotels, yeah. they're sending them over here. And there's room here, so to speak? Yeah, but it's not room for the actual people who... Homeless live, here? Yeah, who are homeless here. Right, OK. If you were offered, are, are you trying to seek a place right now? Yeah. Cool. Before I went to prison the last time, I was dealing with a nice lady and she was going to try to get me into Bassett. Yeah. But when I come out, she left, so now the council, all over again. Yeah, and the council saying they don't, not going to help me. But somebody comes in from Northampton and they get first dibs? Yeah, basically. Right, OK. OK. Um, Even the police got safeguarding on me. Even the police, what, sorry? Got safeguarding on me. What does that mean? Because they class me as a vulnerable person, so every time right, I get okay. attacked, I keep trying to get me a social worker. Well, it can't be that difficult, in theory. No, they're doing what they've got to. Who the police are? Yeah, the social worker done what they're doing. That's either. what I mean, it can't be yeah. that difficult. Yeah, I have about 11, 12 safeguarding in both different offices. In, in what sort of time period? About six, seven months. Right, oh, right, OK. And they just keep moving and moving and moving, and you will back to square one every yeah. time? Yeah. Right, OK. Um, how do you adapt to this kind of life? Do you end up liking it? I don't like it. I've just got to adapt because at the moment I'm in my head against a bit wall trying to deal with the council. Right, OK. OK. But uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in a moment. But um, So you just kind of like shrug your shoulders and this is where I'm at and you just get on with it? Yeah. Wow, OK. And if someone were to offer you work, what sort of job would you happily take? Gardening or anything outside. Just outside? Yeah. Just give me outside? Yeah. Again, shirt and tie is no good for you? No. no. Give me overalls and I will do anything. Right, OK, OK. Um, we're going to come to the council in a minute, and I know that's what you really want to talk about, but just one more question for now. What does community mean to you? when we look out for each other. 
What, okay, what do you mean by that? A bit more, please. When I first become homeless, all the homeless people who were there always had each other back. Yep. Making sure nothing happened to each other. Right. But now, a lot of the homeless just help for themselves. But they're not from Wanabra either as no. well, so is it, is, it, is it some of it? Yeah. Okay, and what does community mean to you in terms of... Because it's a word that... You watch the news nowadays and it's this community, that community, and you know, it could be ethnic, it could be religious, it could be class, it could be anything, but community, 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 community. At the same time, this is a town, I think, I think this is a town now, I mean, when I was a kid here, it was like 40,000, I think it's now about 70,000. So what does community mean? So community means everyone helping each other out in terms of people like yourselves in the same position, but what does also community mean to you, say, Wellingborough? People coming up and saying hello, even if they don't know you, just waving as I walk past you. And how often do you get that? Quite a lot. Well, yeah, yeah. you've got a nice smile. There yeah. you go. So people come up to you a lot and say, and people know your name as well? A lot of them do. Well, I know your name. Yeah. <laughs> but that because I've met a lot of good people yeah. since I've become homeless, who I might not met if I live in the building. Right, OK. And we're talking like uh, quote unquote normal people going by every day type thing, yeah. as well as people homeless. Yeah, I got friends. If I'm, when it's been cold, they will buy me a cup of tea and I sit outside Costa talking to them. Right. Okay. So community it means a few different things. Yes. Yeah. And would you say? I mean, you've already kind of said that the community in terms of the homeless community used to be lovely, it's not yeah, quite so. Yeah. Now. Obviously, there's going to be some good people as well. Yeah. What about generally with regards to, say, Wellingborough as a town? And don't forget, Wellingborough as a town has got lots of different communities yeah. anyway, but how do you think Wellingborough has changed in that community aspect over the, t- over the time? We're getting more foreign communities moving from their country. Yeah. And that nice cop. I don't normally have a problem with the foreign community. Yeah. They treat me with respect and I treat them. Yeah, that. okay. And that's nice to see. I've got some good friends from Romania. Oh, right, since okay. They've become homeless. Yeah, it is a strange one, though. But why would you, I mean, I mean, you're not, you may or may not be the right person to ask this, but it is kind of curious. Why would somebody come all the way from Romania to be homeless here? Um, to do the work. They came for work and then they became homeless here. No, but they're still working. What they're do you mean? All, I've got the two Romanian are working, putting in the full day, a load of homeless. And they're homeless? Yeah, they're still putting in the full day work. So what, are, you really, are they desperately saving their money? No, I'm just... God, I asked the same question to them. Yeah, go and on. And they went, over here the money better than if they stopped. Fair there. enough, so, I get that. At least they're coming over and they are... Well, but they must be earning enough money to pay for a room. My friend that only just start working, but he said when he get his first wages, he will will get a room. But the other one, because he can earn a lot of money, he wants to keep it all. Yeah, he don't. He know if he get a place, then the tax man getting a lot of. All right, income. okay. <laughs> but I asked him why he didn't get a room, and he just pulled. He wants out. to keep every penny he possibly yeah. can. Yeah. And how long is he going to stay here? And then, and he must, because the money, I mean, in that kind of money, going, no, that money's kind yeah. of no good to him here. So he must be looking to go back at some point. He is talking about going to Paris at some point. Oh, he blimey. reckon I should come go with him. What do you fancy going to Paris? Only with a woman. Paris is a... City of love? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, man, you got, you got your priorities yeah. right. Okay, we like that. Okay, let's talk about what you really want to talk about and what's your message to Wellingborough Council? And off you go. I just want to know why can't you help the Wellingborough a lot before you offer or say Northampton and Corby and Ketchum can have rooms in our hotel. Okay, a bit more. Go on, explain that a bit more. Cut. You can't look at after the people the council can't look after the people they've got on the street. Yeah, and there are a lot of vulnerable people who should not be left on the street. So um, look after your own first. Yeah. Charity begins at home yeah. type thing. Yeah. Okay, and you feel strongly about that? Yeah. Okay. And, and therefore, I take it, if for argument's sake they're from Corby, your message to Corby Council would be you should be looking after your own yeah. as well. Yeah, not sending them 
here. Somewhere else. Right, okay. Let's, let me be, I'm going to be difficult here just for a moment and on purpose. So say I work for the council right now and you're talking to me and you ask that kind of thing. And I say, well, we've only got so many rooms. What are we supposed to do? I mean, apart from the fact that you're giving it to out of town as first, yeah. I get that. But if they've only got so many rooms, uh, I mean, you must get that kind of an answer from time to time. I mean, how do you respond to that? I mean, I haven't done it very well there, but sometimes, you know, the, they're bureaucrats in, in, who work in the council and, and you know, um, some of them have fantastic hearts, you know, hearts and souls and some of them just robots, yeah. to be perfectly fair. But nevertheless, there's only so many rooms available and, and this and the other. So sometimes it can't always help. And also there's a budget for this and there's a budget for that. So, you know. But they've got empty buildings of their own. Yeah. Yeah. They could turn it into a proper night shelter, not just a shed all the way up the embankment. Where, 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 where is that shelter? It, by one of the schools on the embankment gave us. Okay. Their old sport pavilion thing. Yep. Yeah. What, well, T-Birds? That place? I'm not sure where it is, okay. but that won't open till November. And people ask me why don't I use the roaming night shelter when they're cold. And like I point out, that only three months. Yeah, I don't want to be somewhere every night for three months and then back on the street. OK, why not? In, in the sense of, if you've got cover for three months, why not just take it? Because I want something a bit more permanent than three months. Yeah, that's fair Over enough, I get head. that. But all I'm saying is, yeah. that's available now, why not take it? Because everyone else uses it. Yep. Now, I want to be out there so the council can't forget us. Ooh, OK, OK. I mean, that's, that's, that's a... So you're playing in a little bit. In yeah. some ways, you're playing. Yeah. And you're playing to say, oi, this isn't right, yeah. and I'm, I'm suffering on purpose. Not on purpose, that's not fair. No, no, no. I'm suffering out in the open, so just to make you aware that something not right is yeah. going on here. And also, the council say, if you're intense or sofa surfing, you're not class as obvious. Say that again. If you're intense or sofa surfing, staying with a friend for... Well, sofa yeah. surfing, I understand, but why tense, surely? But you're homeless because you're not paying any rent. You just a foot, a but if you're, you if, if there were, I mean, we're in Crawling Gardens yeah. now. If there was a tent here, yeah. that is not homeless. No, according to the council. Right. Okay. Yeah, I get that. That's 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 a that's a way of getting you off the books, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And people say, why don't I get a tent? And that's one of the reasons I won't, because then they're not accountable for me. Yeah, or I get that. Me. What if, and this is a tricky one, what if, say, the people of Wellingham thought, well, if we build a place for lots of homeless people, even more homeless people are going to arrive, which is kind of a, a, I know it's a horrible, tricky one, but that's kind of an understandable thought as well. How would you respond to that? A load of help the people who are already homeless there, if they're rude, then so be it. Yeah. No need to think of the homeless who are living on the street in Wellingham there. Right, OK, OK, that's fine. Um, expanding out, so we talked about Wellingborough Council. Um, you know, locally, regionally and nationally, um, what do you think of politicians generally? No good. Oh, right, fair enough, why not? And that's Conservative, yeah. Labour, Liberal, the whole shebang. Yeah. No good, why not? What's wrong with them? Because when they were up for election, they promised they can change things. Yep. And once they get in, Nothing has changed. So you see him once in, you see him like three weeks in four years and yeah. then buff. Yeah. No won't. Whatever they promise, they don't follow through. They don't follow through. Yeah, they empty promise and people will think, oh yeah. So if you voted Tory, would make a difference. If no. you voted Labour, would make a difference. No, I never voted in my life. Right, OK. And you've seen what you think are a bunch of crooks and thieves the whole yeah. way. Yeah. Well, what about, OK, in all fairness, because it's an easy joke in all fairness, but what about... I mean, obviously, it's, it's common perception that the politicians are, you know, rotten and this and that. But they're obviously are good people, Labour and Tory. Yeah. Like, there's obviously good people. But um, I mean, what, what, I mean, we're, we're smiling when we're saying this. But what if we just happen to have a politician here who you just felt Tory Labour doesn't matter. You just felt they were a decent person. What would you say to them? I need to help the homeless everywhere. 
they need to help. help. Oh, the homeless everywhere. Right, because okay. Too many people. Even ex forces are left to be on the street. Yeah, bang out of order. Agree. Yeah, I got I know a few people who are homeless and ex forces, but right. I've been helping them or tell them about the British Legion. So anyone I know who or me. British Legion's a bunch of flats now. Hmm? Well, no, the British Legion. What, the organisation? Yeah. Not the building? No. Because that's flats yeah. now. I always get my friend who, a welfare officer, to speak to them. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, and that, that, that brings us into how do you eat? By sometime money what given me, I will buy food. There are people who come out three days a week feeding us. What, church, Christians, like yeah. the old-fashioned, yeah. obvious people? Yeah, yeah. Um, I know those kind of people as well. I mean, some of them are just really good people, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and are they, they're kind to you? And, yeah. I know, OK, tell me a bit more, please. Um, there are organisations, and they're all from Emmerwell, yeah, called the Emmerwell Art. I know, I know someone who goes there, actually, and he's yeah. a really lovely guy as well. Yeah, they're all women, and they will come out Quite every lovely. Wednesday yeah. and to feed us. Also, if we need anything, we've got books. If we need anything, we tell them, and they'll make sure they'll get it for the next week. Oh. Even books for me. So you get some food, yeah. and you get a book. So you and like your Jack Reacher. Uh, yeah. Was it Jack who is again? Jack Reacher. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> Actually, the first book I ever went of is. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's good. Oh, you like it? Yeah. yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Good lad. So, uh, so, how do you eat the rest of the week, though? My nice people who see me and say, ask yeah. me if I need something to eat or if I've got yeah. something past it. Okay. And then, okay. And then, it's the same kind of question. You've answered it kind of, but if you just want to expand it a bit more, um, what sort of support do you get from the public generally? Nice support. Like what? Um, people just come to check if I'm okay if I'm asleep. Okay, and they know your name? No, don't. I'm now getting to know different people since I moved up there. Right. Who I haven't met before. Okay. I was asleep the other way, yeah, face, face down, and this lady come, shook me and went, are you okay? Yeah. And she gave me a five pound note to get something to eat with. And what kind of people are they generally? I mean, we've done the Christian type people as well, but the other people who just come up and say hello. I don't listen. know if they're Christian. No, that's fair enough. In conversation. No, but I, but the ones who just come up and just say hello, they're yeah. just run of the mill people. Yeah. 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 And um, just generally, just because you've got a nice smile on your face when you're talking about them now, so yeah. just they just they just yeah. make a difference. Yeah. By just saying hello and little things like that. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay. Um, coming back to you, you and your how you view the world and stuff like that. Tricky question, this one. Take your time with it. What level of control do you feel you have over your life? I think I've got good control over my life now. How, why? Because I'm trying to sort out my needs, like getting off the alcohol. I'm hoping next week to sort out forms for Rio. Where is Rio? In Leicester. Leicester, yeah. okay. Okay, so you, you, you've got a goal and you're going for yeah. it. Okay, and that, that gives you a sense of control. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you have access to the internet? Not at the moment. Why not? Next week. I ain't got a phone at the moment. <laughs> okay. All right, final question then. Is the future bleak or is it full of promise? Full of promise. Why? Um, I'm just trying to sort my life out. Once I've done rehab, the rehab can help me with my house in me. Okay. And so I'll it's full of promise. stay in Leicester. Yeah, fair enough, nice place. So it's full of promise, and what else beyond that? Well, what would you like? Coming back out with one of my ex girlfriends. Yay! And on that note, okay, Robert, it's right. been an absolute pleasure. Thanks. Okay, and uh, one of the council. Um, I will be sending this to you, but obviously you're watching it right now. So uh, take note. This is Robert. Um, yeah, good man. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't forget your pen. <laughs> okay.